right now, Bakman has a generating capacity of 209 megawatt. Normally, um, each city has uh, around 20 megawatts. So, so that means to say that uh, we can power at 210. Uh, we need to inspect the pipes because we can uh, see the quality of the insulation of our pipes. That's part of our uh, reliability monitoring and ensuring that our facility is 24-7. No? If we don't inspect the pipes, it will deteriorate. So basically, uh, it will be corroded or uh, again, the heat will uh, leak. Worst case that uh, may happen, of course, is a pipe explosion. No? The old way we are doing is a uh, manual inspection. We use a handheld uh, thermal imager. So it takes long to inspect a 40 kilometers pipeline of different configuration and all the angles, all the edges you have to measure. The, uh, that will be a long, long way to do it. And uh, it would take us uh, years actually. Safety concerns that we face in uh, pipeline inspection is the uh, same with the other equipment we inspect because it's located in the field. Sometimes when, you, when you're not aware in the inspection, you came closer to the hot pipes. So sometimes uh, our, our people got injuries from burns. Especially on our uh, steam lines are about 170 degrees uh, centigrade. So if you touch it, you definitely get that burn. Most of our pipelines are looking situated, you know. Others are on the cliff, beside the cliff, or on the elevated part. No? So meaning to say that accessibility is not an easy task for our operators, our contractors. Just imagine the, the risk. And of course, if person who are exposed to H2S, that's another risk uh, on health. No? So we don't want them to be exposed to any hazard. No? So that's why we are looking for technologies that will help us uh, in uh, operating this, uh, this asset of us to operate safely and of course in the, for the wellness of our personnel. We started using drones in 2016, 17. Uh, we only use it for documentation purposes. But of course, uh, through time, nag, uh, nag uh, evolved na rin ng technology. So, uh, dumami na, dumami na yung naging use natin sa kanya. So, we started inspection using that and we compared that demand hours, the resources uh, that we used previously is uh, drastically uh, reduced. Uh, when we use the drone, we, we don't need to uh, walk near the pipelines no? because of course the pipelines is still has reduced because first, uh, it's uh, hot. Second, if it has a leak, it might uh, burst and it's dangerous to the uh, person inspecting it. So with the drones, we can use the drones to remotely conduct the inspection. So we can uh, come near the, the pipelines without uh, the person going near. Mas safe talaga siya. In the coming years, uh, as we embark on centralizing our operations, the, uh, the application of drone will be important in, in our operations as well as in, in our maintenance activities. Now. As of now, our inspection combined the uh, traditional and uh, drone inspection. But a uh, uh, majority of our inspection will be done by drone inspection already. So one of the key features in using the Duck 2 drones is the, uh, its uh, remote capability for its operation. So just imagine if our drones can be controlled from, from a remote area, like for example our control room, and uh, the moment we see something that we want to validate, to monitor, to check from the control room. Waterproof duct because here in Bakman, we only have two weather. It's wet and very wet. Using it to, to program our inspection uh, using waypoints. With that uh, technology, all of our towers will be inspected in less than an hour. It would be helpful for us to reach our goal, no? Pagdating sa optimization ng operation, pagdating sa uh, streamlining ng processes namin sa EDC, marami siyang maiko-contribute kasi 
uh, marami siyang isisimplify na process. Doing it manually takes years. For now, we can do it in days, no? So, mas mabilis. For the workflow, basically, we have naman yung mga workflows, no? Uh, I-improve lang natin ng drones. That too will, uh, will be of great help in the operations of uh, of our geothermal facility, particularly in, in in us trying to optimize our way of of working from operations, uh, doing inspections, monitoring, to maintenance and uh, site responses before any repair.